Yeah, so my name's Chris. I'm in the London Clinic today. Um, I'm from uh, Kent. I work out up in London most of the time. Yeah, so I've had um, alopecia areata now for about 15 years on and off. Um, treated it with a variety of, uh, sort of unpleasant treatments. Um, it's all fallen out, it's all come back, it's uh, all started to fall out again. And I was really looking at alternatives. I kind of reached the end of the road with regards to the treatments that were available without you know, taking unpleasant things like steroids, which are just not worth it. Um, you know, I've always had my hair pretty short, so I'm quite comfortable with that, with that look when I don't have you know, kind of the, the patches coming through. So for me, it felt like a good kind of end solution for the whole alopecia treatment that I've been going through. You know, it would cover up the patches. If it grows back, that's fine. You know, it will manage that process. And it just seemed a really good way of putting the whole thing to bed and just being being done with it and kind of moving on, really. Yeah, I mean, it's not something that you know, I was massively uncomfortable with. I was quite happy to talk to people about it, and particularly other people, you know, children or teenagers that were going through it, I was happy to give them a bit of advice. But in the end, you just get a bit fed up with it and feeling a little bit self-conscious sometimes when it's getting really bad and not having to think, oh, I've got to kind of explain this to this new person that I'm meeting, and particularly you know, I meet lots of people in my, in my job and I just want to kind of put it to bed for a bit. It's been going on for so many years, so this seemed quite a good option for me. So, you know, I was quite excited when I saw it. So if, uh, if you've got alopecia areata, you can't go down that hole. You know, not that I would go down that line, but the idea of hair transplants, because, you know, your body will reject it. So, you know, in terms of something that's not going to be painful or you know, cause you longer term issues, this seemed quite a good option for me. So you know, I was quite keen to, to explore it further. I think I was Googling it when um, in the alopecia treatment that I was having stopped, stopped working after a couple of years of having no problems at all. And I was just Googling to see what the alternatives were. And then I saw it on uh, one of the sites and explored three or four different providers in London and around the world. And, went in, saw them, and this seemed like the, the best option of those people that I talked to. Yeah, I mean, obviously you don't want it to look bad, you know, thought going through all that and looking stupid would be would be pretty terrible. So, so you know, I had a look at the, the other videos, thought very carefully about just leaving it as it is. You know, I shaved it all off a few weeks ago, just to kind of get comfortable with going back to that look. Um, so it's the, the fear that it would look, you know, kind of worse than it is at the moment, or, if it was to discolour over over time, or you know, just I just wouldn't want to make a mistake with something like that. When you know, it, for me, it's just a, an improvement and a bit of closure on the whole alopecia. I don't want to kind of open up a new chapter of thinking, you know, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have done that. No, I think it was it was definitely seeing the other videos and seeing some close-ups of other people, and there were some other people there that had gone through the same treatment as me. Um, since you see the guy that I originally talked to had it done himself, so I was able to have you know kind of a good, a good look, good close look, and check that it looked okay. Um, and that's helped put my mind to rest. Also seeing the fact that you know they've been they've treated a lot of different people, um, and I felt it, no, it looked it looked pretty good. And it kind of reassured me um, and put my mind at rest. Yeah, because I've got, you know, I've still got a few patches of my own hair that, that are left that I think now I've stopped having the treatment, they will probably go. Um, actually, so for me, it will be you know, kind of having the full, the full head, and then if and when those patches go, you no, know, it's not really a problem because they will just be all blended in. Um, and equally, one of the things that they were looking at doing was, um, I mean, I've had kind of weird journeys. I used to be really hairy <laughs> when, I was, when I was young. So it's been quite weird losing my hair, kind of a sort of reverse of the normal, of the normal process. Um, and one of the things that was an option there was actually getting the, the beard back, kind of getting that old look that, that I used to have that you know, seemed quite a good option for me. I mean, it wasn't, it seemed to be nicely done, nicely blended in. Um, so that was something that they were offering that other people weren't that you know that I was quite quite interested in. So I'm also going to get the the beard done to kind of fill in the the patches of stubble that I have at the moment to kind of get back my old my old look when I used to be uh, young and hairy. Um, so it'll be good to you know have the full have have the full look back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Over the course of 
four sessions, three or four sessions, I believe. Um, we also think it's, it's one of those diseases that they're not 100% sure what causes it. Um, it's an autoimmune disease. Um, it's often it's associated with high periods of stress. I remember when I very first got it, kind of 15 years ago, um, I was in the process of leaving a job and I was reasonably stressed then, but since, since then, you know, I'm not a particularly stressed out person. Since once that condition started, there's been no kind of rhyme or reason to where, whether it comes or goes, which makes it just, you know, incredibly frustrating disease to, to live with. Um, so, you know, so I know for some people it's very hard to, you know, to, to deal with that out, out in public. I mean, certainly I'm, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with it myself. I'd just like to um, move on from it and stop worrying about the you know, comings and goings of, uh, of the patches. You know.